Ah, guys, the witch doctor. Um, this isn't actually a real video. It's just more of a my hopes from Sega. Because if you guys do not know, I'm an extremely huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan, and my favorite character of all time is Espio. Now, Espio for me is just probably one of the coolest characters ever, and I'm saddened to say that he's probably like one of the ones that uh you know you can't really play as him too much. Uh, which is kind of why Knuckles Chaotix is actually one of my favorite Sonic games out to this date. Uh, along with Sonic Heroes, uh, my, very, my favorite Sonic the Hedgehog game in general would be Sonic 2. Uh, that's my favorite one out of all of them. But SBO, I remember when I was a kid too, when I actually had the, uh, the Overdrive thing. Or the Mega Drive? I think that's what it was. And... Uh, Knuckles Chaotix came out, and I saw Mighty, I saw Vector, Charmy, I, I, I like all those characters. Uh, I probably spent more time playing that game than more of the other ones, but uh, for the life of me, I can't remember all the stages in Knuckles Chaotix, because that game was kind of like a cluster of uh, weird stages, but man, when I saw Espio, I thought it was the coolest thing, because uh, next to sharks, sharks are my favorite animal in the world, uh, Chameleons are also like my very close second, and what isn't what's like more cooler than a ninja lizard? Like it, it, it's just so dope. I mean, look at Espio. He's like he's purple. Uh, he has the horn. He, he looks different from the other characters, and that's what made me like him a lot because he wasn't, you know, like. Like a hedgehog or like a cat or something like you know, he was different. All of them, all of Team Chaotix is different. You have Charmy, he's a bee, and then you have Vector, who's a, who's a crocodile, or yeah, I think it's a crocodile or an alligator. One of the two. I, I, I don't even care because I'm looking at the wiki page of Espio right now. Even though I don't really think I even need to look at this page because just Espio in general is just so cool because. He could turn invisible. He can like adapt to his environment. That's so dope. Uh, he has a spinning attack, dash attack. Uh, he has one uh, whirling attack, but I think it's called the Espio Spin. Uh, well, I think it's only called that in Sonic Fighters, though. The Fighters. I think that's what it's called. But not only that, Espio, like you know, despite him not being like a main character or. You know, one of the side characters. He appears in a lot of Sonic games. He's in Sonic Generations, in Sonic Rivals, uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog, uh, you know, Mario and Sonic Olympics, which we will not speak of those games. Sonic Colors. It, it's he's in a lot of games. And then as for playable ones, he's in Sonic the Fighters, Sonic Heroes. That's my fault. I'm sorry. And uh, what was the other one? Knuckles Chalk, of course. And Oh, this is just like, I'm sorry, this is like a little rant video of my hopes for Espio because uh, I was watching uh, the Tales Channel's video of uh, him being in Sonic Dash, which I play that game a lot at work. I also play Sonic Jump Fever a lot at work as well. And if he is to be in any of those games, I would love for him to be in Sonic Jump Fever. Or maybe, I mean, I'm completely blowing this out there. I mean, I'm, I'm, I doubt it, but I really hope he would be in Sonic Boom. Maybe not in the game, but at least in the show. Because the show, that, that seems like a good possibility, don't you think? Maybe he could be in the show. I mean, the whole Team Chaotix, they're wacky. They were, they were funny in Sonic uh, Sonic X. I thought so. Uh, he, he has a good chance, right? I mean, the, the whole uh, Chaotix team is pretty funny. And uh, this is supposed to be a rant. And it's like only four, it's already four minutes long. I, I'm sorry, guys. It's just, SBO got me like that. And it's just... Uh, I really hope that Sega, or, you know, they do something with this guy, and they put him in another game where I can actually use him again, because uh, it does get a little tiring replaying Knuckles Chaotix and Sonic Heroes, but, well, not tiring, it's just like, you know, you want to do something new, but if he's in Sonic Jump Fever, I will go insane, I will just put my money through my phone and say take it because that, I'm not gonna wait I'm not gonna unlock him like doing it the hard way the other characters I'll do it the hard way but him I will pay instantly I said give me SBO right now 
so yeah guys that's my little rant i'm sorry it went on for quite a long time but uh as for any videos i don't have anything planned for today so this is i guess this is it for today uh like i said i'm really busy in the summer dude with all my friends being out of school and stuff like that so and i have family from puerto rico that come to see uh, my family and stuff from over here so yeah guys this is the witch doctor darkness